Welcome back to the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Now, uh, with the time we have left, let's quickly move into talking sports. And, of course, uh, uh, for everyone except Arsenal fans, we've seen the most interesting transfer window in quite a <laughs> while. Um, from Manchester United to Chelsea to Manchester City, everyone has, you know, brought out money from their pockets and done what needed to be done, including PSG, which also made a very, very huge uh, uh, by the season. So we're going to be talking about that now with Wally Scott. There's a lot of, you know, little details here and there. Yes. Um, and, um, you know. Good um, morning, Wally Scott. Yeah, let's go first. Now, this is undoubtedly the craziest transfer season. I mean, that's how analysts around the world are yeah. describing it. Well, why so? It's just crazy. Um, everybody consistently spoke about Lionel Messi ending his career in Barcelona. And then he moves to Paris Saint-Germain. Mm. Everybody... Um, felt like um, Ronaldo was beginning to settle down in Juventus in Italian Serie A. He had become a god in Turin already. And then we heard he was going to go to Manchester City. And we're like, ah, ah. Man City, Bau. You know, you left Manchester United, you went to Real Madrid. You are a legend, you are a god. Now, this guy goes on TikTok or something and burns his Ronaldo seven shirts. When he was in Miami before, thinking that he was going to go to Manchester City. And then Ronaldo eventually came to Man United. And an, an estimator said that that shirt would have been worth 200,000 pounds if he had not burnt it. You know, that's how crazy this season has been. And then you see Arsenal, who have bought like six players now or five players, no names, but we heard that. Um, but I'm someone, I have been doing this for a while sports analysis and all that i've gone i've been a reporter i've gone abroad I've gone, you know and this is the craziest you know that you've ever seen whoever thought messi Ooh. would go would leave barcelona whoever thought he would go to paris saint germain we thought he would go and play his trade with manchester city with his former coach pep guardiola you know whoever thought ronaldo would go back to manu after how many years that he left are these are these you money know? motivated transfers or they are you know passion I have no idea, but I think um, post-COVID, most of these clubs have become more money-oriented mm -hmm. because we heard that um, Lionel Messi's jersey in Paris Saint-Germain sold out in 30 minutes. Who does that kind of business? They have made their money that they used to buy Messi from the chest sales in 30 minutes. My um, Ronaldo shirts have gotten so sold out now that some, most of the shops in London have locked up because they don't have stocks anymore. And the only thing they're coming to ask for is Ronaldo's number seven shirt. Ironically, we're not even sure what number Ronaldo will wear. Oh, it's been confirmed he's wearing number seven. Yeah, wear. before, uh, before, yeah. before that, there was just Ronaldo. No number on it. They were asking for it. Now that seven has been put on it now, <clears throat> We have a different stock of people coming to look for it. Look at the kind of business these guys are doing. So let's talk about all the transfer rumors. What are we hearing? Well, well, no, the transfer window has closed already. Um, Kamavinga and all that. But we, hear, we see Arsenal buying players that are not just, you know, they're not just there, you know. Um, they've got this Japanese guy, Takeyushu. Takeyushu, he's fantastic. He's a fantastic player, but he's not a name. And like Osarega just said, these guys are going are doing right now is business. You are, you are getting good legs, you're getting good players for the season. But most importantly, what I've noticed is the English players are buying massively. West Ham United, for example, are in the Europa League for the first time in 67 years. They were the ones that bought the most players two seasons ago. They bought nine players, almost the whole team. But because they are not, the players they bought were not stars, we didn't notice them. But now they're in the Europa League. It's been a gradual crime. They've got a coach like David Moyes, who has done very well with the club. Now they are buying more players too. They've got Daniel James from Manchester United. Yeah. So I think it's a gradual process. Mm. Are, are there any fears of anybody flopping? Um, with their transfers. Um, Lukaku already has started on a good note. Um, Ronaldo hasn't played yet, but I mean, he had, he had two goals against Ireland uh, two days ago. 
Um, so are there, are there any fears that some of these transfers, you know, may be very, very much hyped, but, you know, they may not deliver as much as, uh, as is expected from Lionel Messi, Romelu Lukaku, Cristiano Ronaldo, which are, of course, the biggest uh, for now? Mm. I don't see, first of all, Messi doing as mercurial as he has been in Barcelona, in Paris Saint-Germain. Lukaku, the defend, defenders in England will finally get to catch him. When he was in Manchester United, when he first came in, he did very well. And then after a while, the defenders knew what to do right. He wasn't scoring anymore. With time, the defenders would know what to do right, and they won't score anymore. Jadon Sancho might be a flaw for me, that is. But Ronaldo, mm, he's, he's good. He's the man that everybody wants to beat. And um, Man U will do very well. But um, generally, which flop do I think will be the most major flop of the season, for me, would be Chelsea. Everybody's talking about them winning the Champions League. They've got a bunch of players. They will do well. This league is theirs. They won't win the league. I don't know who will in the Inter League, but they won't win the league. It's not going to happen. That's the major flop, that I think. Chelsea will well, not it wouldn't win. necessarily be a flop if they don't win it. They haven't won it since... Um um, um, Mourinho, or, or have they? <clears throat> yeah, but they have a fantastic um, team right now. Yeah. They've got a bond. They're together. They've just won the Champions League. And um, they're defending... Oh, no. They're still a team to be worried about, to be scared of. Yes. They won the Champions League I, but, last but, year. But everybody, the, the, the bookmakers are saying that there's a large possibility this should be Chelsea's year. Mm -hmm. um, and not Man City's year. I don't think so. All right. Um, anyway, we, we need so. to uh, leave... I don't think so. Well, Scott, thank you very much. Thank you. We would, of course, um, have games this weekend. Thank you. Um, yes, international, international games. break. Okay. But we have a match tonight. Okay. The Super Eagles will be playing Liberia in the World Cup qualifiers tonight at the Test in Balogun Stadium. We've got a full squad. And um, Madoka Okoye, the goalkeeper, has said that um, he's optimistic that he's going to keep a clean sheet against Liberians. But the, but the record... Favor us against Liberians. Yeah. We've played 14 times. We've won nine. They've only beat us once. The rest are draws. So I think it will be a good match tonight. So if you are around, um, but well, the tickets are not, are not being sold. It actually comes from invitation. Okay. Uh, but um, you can actually watch the game live on television on some few selected media houses. Only 38 journalists have been um, accredited to cover it. Uh, only, only two Terrestrial television stations have been accredited to actually show the match. It will be live. It's just at 5 p.m. in okay. Kestin Balogun Stadium, Nigeria against Liberia, the World Cup qualifiers. All the best of the Super Eagles. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to go. Um, thanks a lot for being with us all through the week. Um, and of course, if you missed out on any of the conversations we've had uh, this week, every single bit of it is on our YouTube uh, channel, which is at Plus TV Africa. But also catch up on our Facebook and Instagram, also at Plus TV Africa. Yes, thank you once again for being a part of our week. The first week in the month of September, I am Aneta Felix. And I am Usao Gi Obon. See you at nine.